So it was great to see the results of uh, Emperor Reduced and to see that it met its primary composite outcome. I suppose the only thing that's come up and, and some of my colleagues have sort of contacted me to say that they're disappointed that it didn't show the same reduction in mortality that was observed in DAPHF. However, I think having two trials that both show benefits in heart failure hospitalization that are otherwise completely consistent in terms of symptoms, improvement in kidney function. I think two positive trials can only encourage the use of these drugs in patients with heart failure. And a key finding in Emperor Reduced was that the benefit was seen in the large subgroup of patients who are already on Sucubitril Valsarsin in addition to other standard therapies. So we now know that for certain in both trials that SGLT2 inhibitors have incremental benefit over and above our best available therapy. So this is really an incredible breakthrough. Oh, we've been using these drugs for a long time. Um, they're very easy to use. Patients like taking them, and as we've just discussed, they're extremely effective. So personally, I cannot understand why there is any hesitation. They are actually much easier to use than almost all the other effective therapies we have. They don't reduce blood pressure substantially. They don't cause hypotension. They don't cause worsening renal function. They actually improve renal function contrary to the experience with almost all, all the other drugs that we use. So these are very easy to use, very well tolerated and very effective treatments. I think it's up to individual doctors to decide which agent in a class they use and, and normally we choose those based on the results of trials. But the two trials did show a reduction in the composite outcome of cardiovascular death or heart failure hospitalization. That reduction was proportionally identical in the two trials. There may be little differences in terms of mortality reduction. Uh, that may be the play of chance. It may be differences in the patient population. But if you put the two trials together, the bottom line is people either feel better or are less likely to deteriorate symptomatically, less likely to be admitted to hospital and less likely to die. That's a sort of triple whammy of, of wins in terms of your goals for treating patients with heart failure. So I would anticipate a huge increase in the uptake of this therapy. That's me. I would say the, the what I've heard most discussion about, people have been contacting me about, of course, as I said, is the mortality difference. Um, and I, I'm probably going to make less of that than some people might. Uh, I think the interesting difference really is that Emperor Reduced had a larger proportion of patients on Sucubitril Valsartan, the baseline, than DAPHF. And it was great to see that within that subset of patients on Sucubitril Valsartan, there was a significant benefit of SGLT2 inhibition. So that on top of the similar findings in DAPHF to me is probably the single most important finding in this study. Now we can be sure that these two new life-saving therapies can be used and should be used in combination. And more importantly, both trials tell us that they can be used safely in combination, that they're well tolerated when used together.